super quick tutorial on how to use the shape tools in Illustrator. Um, Illustrator 2024 has some increased shape creation capabilities and editing, but I just want to show you my kind of like cheater way to trace something. So I've got this apple. I found this photo of the apple of an apple on the internet, um, and I'm going to use the pen tool to trace it. Now you can use any of the shape tools to draw these things. Um, the pen tool does have a curvature feature, but I'm going to use a combination of this pen tool and this pen tool to draw this apple. I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. So I'm going to take the pen tool right here, and I'm going to go through, and I'm going to just establish establish some points, right? Some areas where I'm going to get some curves in there and I'm going to kind of go all the way around the apple and it's going to look terrible at first because it's going to be this kind of like, I don't know, squared off apple. That's not right. That's not what I want the apple to look like. Um, I'm going to jump over here to my properties panel and lower the opacity so I can see through it real quick. And now I'm going to jump to that curvature brush tool, right? I'm sorry, curve. And now I'm going to jump to the curvature pen tool. The curvature pen tool will allow me to go in and adjust the path. Now, in when you're using the pen tool and you are getting like the little curves in there and you're drawing the curves in there with the pen tool, yes. Is it a smoother curve? Absolutely, right? That's ideal. But if you're learning how to use the pen tool for the first time and you're just trying to figure out how to make something fit or how to trace something, this is the way to go. So there is my, my apple shape right there. I'm going to take my pen tool again, and I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to get my little stemmy guy, and I'm going to do that guy right there. I will try you later. Um, let me grab my curvature tool. I'm going to go in there and kind of edit that little stem, kind of give it the little curves that it needs to make it look realistic. And then I'm going to go in for the leaf here, and I'm going to go, I actually, I'm just going to do like one, two, three, two, and there. And I, I tell my students, oops, I lost that point. Let me go back. Command Z goes back, go back, right? Um, I'll go back to that pen tool. Let me go back to this point right here. And you see what I did as I, as I went Command Z, I went back. I'm going all the way over here and I've just created this leaf shape. I'm going to switch to my curvature tool and use that to like bump it out. Look at that. Look at that, right? Now it can, you know, alternatively, right, your alternative option, let me just grab all this and kind of move it over to the side, right, is using the pen tool more traditionally. And when you're using the pen tool traditionally, you are clicking and then dragging to get that curve. You can use the curve to create the next curve. I'm just tracing it. Is it perfect? Does it matter? No, it doesn't. Right here I am. I'm continuing to go. You can stop the curve to create a new curve. Um, when I'm creating the curved line, I'm clicking and dragging. Otherwise, what I'm doing is I'm just clicking, 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 right? I'm not dragging. I'm just clicking to drop a point. And here I am going in here to edit that to get those curves in there. So this is a real quick way to use the pen tool, just a real quick demo on how to use the pen tool to trace simple objects in Illustrator. Thank you for watching.